wanting to take a moment to brag about the uh, my the cool tool, the Solar Pathfinder. Totally awesome. Uh, told me exactly where to put these panels uh, my solar for my solar panel system. I was initially when we set up here. It was obvious to me that you can that the best place the place I wanted them was to mount them on the roof. And you can see that I went to the trouble of putting a uh, a uh, you know a pole, a real sturdy pole that I was going to uh, buy a mount for it. And it goes through the roof and right down there is cemented well into the ground. That was going to be where I was going to put it. It was going to be the easiest place to wire into the house where my batteries and my uh, and my inverter are and all that. That was, that was just going to be the easiest place to put it. And I got my hands on uh, got my hands on one of these uh, solar pathfinders. You can see it sitting here next to my panels now for demonstration in a moment. I got my hands on one of those. Went up, set it up there on the roof, and wow, did I! I'm <laughs> so glad I had it. Uh, I would have been this the, the roof of the house is in the shade all winter long for the most part with those trees and I would not have known that in the summertime when I was setting it up. I mean when I'm standing here on the roof and looking up at the sky it's like man I got plenty of sky here what are you talking about? But uh, then when I put the pathfinder right there on the roof uh, I could see that in the winter months when I needed the energy the most I was in the shade and uh, I, the sun was skipping along the tops just underneath the tops of those trees and Sure enough, when winter came, it proved to be exactly correct. Uh, so I went, obviously I had to come back, get off the roof. I initially tried it right there on the ground, right at the end of the roof, and that just wasn't sufficient. It didn't get me, didn't get me as far back as I needed to go. So then, now I'm back here in the backyard, up on this hill, trying to find the best place to put them. And, uh, you know, I tried a number of places, uh, and this spot where they're sitting proved to be the best. Now, I'm a little off center of where I ended up putting them, but that's, you know, obviously to show you that's what I'm going to have to do, put the pathfinder here. If I went over in that direction too much, then I didn't, those trees over on the east shaded me until about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the afternoon. 10 or 11 sometimes when I got over that way, so that didn't do me any good. And as I get over in that direction, I'm in the shade by 1 o'clock, you know, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, in that direction over there would have been easier because my, my whole setup is over there near that barn my, where my batteries and inverter and everything are. <clears throat> I never would have put the panels way up here on the hill because of the, the added wire cost and, and voltage loss and or power loss, all that sort of thing. So, but after seeing that this was my best place, ultimately this is where I put them and I so glad the Pathfinder, I had that to show me this ahead of time. I'll take this off just to show you. This right here is the arcs for the winter months where the sun will be in the sky at my location in Tennessee in the winter months. And these arcs down here are where the sun will be in the summer months. And there's 12 arcs, one for every month of the year. You orient this thing by setting the compass correctly and this little uh, bubble level right there tells you that the thing is perfectly level. Once you have that set up and put this reflective dome on here, then at a quick, there we go, at a quick glance, it's easy to tell where this, where this area will be in the shade or in the sun at what times of the day for every month of the year. And right here, in the winter months, when it's most important to me, I've tuned this system for the winter months, because in the summer I've got plenty of energy. In the winter months, uh, you can see that this area comes out of the shade. This, 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 this is tree lines and hills and stuff around here. That sh when the sun, when the line goes behind those into those shady areas, then there's no sun where I'm standing. So the sun comes up here at about. Uh, let me take an eye off the camera. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, seven thirty, eight o'clock, which at this angle is about as good as I can expect. Then it comes across here, and I don't get into the shade in the winter months until way over here, which is about 3, comes down to 3, 3.30. And then in the summer months, of course, it comes way over here, and I'm in the, I'm in the sun here till 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun, I've got, hey, cats bumping things here. The summer months, I'm doing fine, but the winter months is how I've tuned it. Also, since I knew where the sun would be, I looked at where the sun is hitting the top of this tree right here. There's a little shadow right there. That's the top of a tree. And so then when I was standing here, 
I, I knew where that tree was. It happens to be right there, that treetop right there. So I knew about where the sun was at uh, two, one, two o'clock. I knew, I knew about where the sun was going to be. Twelve, one o'clock. It's right in here because those shadows told me. So then, uh, then I was able to point. I was able to point the or angle the when I made the mount. I angled these panels so that they were pretty much pointing directly at the sun, a little bit off, so that uh, I'm the panels are tuned perfectly for November to January, which is uh, about maybe beginning of December, middle of February, somewhere in there. They're tuned perfect for those two times of the month, and uh, I've had no problem. I'm very happy with how they have performed first time I didn't have to didn't have to guess it was done perfect the first time thanks to the solar pathfinder definitely gets the cool tool award